Hi, you're, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Man, oh man, Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? We are only a month into the new year and we already have a candidate for upset of the year. Julian J. Rock Williams loses his titles to a 30 to one underdog, Jason Rosario. Let me start off by saying congratulations to Jason Rosario from the Dominican Republic. I was very impressed with him throughout this fight. He fought like fight. he was the champion throughout this fight. I was impressed with how calm he was. He was just standing right in front of Julian J. Rock Williams, countering him, hitting him with the jab. Whatever J. Rock threw at him, it didn't phase him. A couple times, J. Rock will catch him with a good right hand, but Rosario will come right back with combinations. He has these long arms. He's really big for the weight. He knows how to box, has power. It was a very impressive win. He knocked out J-Rock in the fifth round. He cut him, I believe, in the second round, and it was a bad cut. I mean, you could kind of partially attribute a little bit of the loss to the cut and where it was on J-Rock, but you have to give the majority of credit, at least 90% of the credit, to how good Rosario did in this fight. I mean, he was getting the best of J-Rock pretty much from the first round. That's the way I seen it, at least. J-Rock was doing good, and I gave him at least a round, but I thought overall, Rosario was doing much better. And finally, the fifth round came where Rosario, he hurt J-Rock Williams with a right-left combination that had him staggering all over the ring. And then he finished him off with a beautiful uppercut, followed by a little left hook. But by that time, the referee had jumped in and stopped the fight. So this is a huge upset. And now we have another serious player at the junior middleweight division. Boy, I tell you right now, Jamel Charlo, he's got his hands full right now. I mean, the competition just gets stiffer and stiffer for a Jamel Charlo and everyone else at the junior middleweight division with this new addition in the 154 pound division. Tough break for J-Rock. He goes back to back fighting some of the biggest junior middleweights in the world. I mean, because this guy Rosario was pretty much the same size as Jared Hurd, but the difference was he was a much, much better boxer and obviously had a much better defense. So we'll see where the new champion goes from here and where the former champion, J-Rock, goes. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Yep.